Oh, let's play Jesus Christ the second. The people want straight shooters. Yeah, they want analysis. Let me show you what the people want. All right, this is the starting position. I usually like to play d4 here. Sometimes I play c4 and sometimes I play knight to f3. The thing with knight f3 is that if your opponent wants to play the Grunfeld, then you can use tricky move orders like g6, e4 to try to get them off the Grunfeld. So it has an advantage against certain move orders. Of course, you give up a little something too, but I feel that against most opponents, the pros outweigh the cons. Now we have transposed into a line of the Pirt's Ufimsev defense, which is a very reliable opening for black, but black gives up a little space in the center and therefore white often has a promising game with his full pawn center, pawns on e4 and d4. I will try to maintain the center. I could take on e5, possibly winning a pawn, but I will try to keep the center. Having said that, it's a pawn. Give me that pawn. D takes e5. I calculated, fairly crisp calculation, if I may say so myself, that after d takes e5, I can take the pawn. I have not calculated any further what happens after rook e8, knight f3, knight e4, or any of these lines. But for now, we took a pawn. Therefore, we have more pawns. Now, this reminds me of the famous game. Um, where somebody took a poison pawn on e8, e5 and then lost a lot of time trying to hang on to that pawn, then got checkmated. But it was a pawn. Now I'm considering if I should defend my knight with pawn to f4. It looks risky, like rook takes e5, for example, or queen d4, check king h1, rook takes e5, f takes e knight to g4, with tremendous counterplay. But I will do it nonetheless because I am a very, very materialistic player. So here we go. Oof, this is exciting chat. He could now take the knight or he could give a check or he could play another move. Those are the options that come to my mind. Queen d4, I will have to return the pawn. Bishop to e3, queen takes b2, knight d2, which looks decent, I would say, because I will get fluid piece play in return for giving back the pawn. So I quite like that option. I am somewhat more concerned about rook takes e5, f takes e, knight to g4, threatening a queen check on d4, which I would have to parry with an ugly move like pawn to c3 or something along those lines. Then there's queen h4. That does look a little scary, but we will see if Jesus Christ II dares to do so. Oh, now I calculate. After rook takes e5, f takes e, knight to g4, I had to move bishop e2. Bishop e2, that I feel is a key resource. That is very important. And I would probably keep an edge. He instead plays knight to d7, which looks, what's the word? It looks slow. So I shall take it and then bring, bring my knight out maybe. Because what's better than a knight out? A knight out with friends. Don't we all miss that? Queen takes, interesting. Hmm. Now I shall think. Pawn to c3 is possible. Or maybe just queen e2, and if queen d4, uh, queen f2, there's knight g4. Still somewhat scary. Oof. I don't know what to do. Maybe just h3, stopping any g4 shenanigans for now. Is the knight e4 then? Yeah, I don't want that. So many problems, so little time. Knight c3, knight to g4. Still somewhat worrying. Me. I think I missed the me there. What about e5? Knight g4, then some move. Maybe I'll do that. See, that was grandmasterly decision making. Think about some moves and then make some random other move. 
That's the secret to grandmasterdom. It's not easy. But if it was easy, anyone could do it. It's, as we know, a big step on the road to eternal happiness, that GM title. So I went bishop back to e2, trying to defend against queen d4 check, the so-called smothered mate. Because who wants to smother their mates? Um, after queen takes d1, rook takes d1, the position remains complicated. But... I would have an extra pawn. Hmm, what could Jesus Christ the second do? Jesus, take your time. Knight takes e5? WTF, Jesus. I will take the horse. Jesus, is this one of your voluntary self-sacrifice for my happiness things? I'm not against it. Sorry, I'm not well read on religion and stuff, so apologies if... My understanding of stuff Jesus did is subpar. Let's bring some pieces out, shall we? Hmm. Now, I have an extra piece. He has one pawn in exchange for the piece, which should not be enough. I do not see any direct attacks because black is also lacking development. The rook on a8 is not contributing. The bishop on c8 is not contributing. So his pretty position with the two bishops does not seem to have enough stored up energy to do any trouble. To do any trouble? I don't speak English. To give me any trouble. And I should win this game smoothly, effortlessly, from here on. That's the plan. Rook f5 is a legal move. Bishop here? Why not, chat? You only live once. I'm not sure if that's... Jesus. Can I take? Or maybe bishop here? So many options. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Maybe check. Okay, now I'm just, I was gonna say, I'm effing with you, Jesus, but that seemed wrong. So I, I'm not gonna say it. I'm just toying with you, Jesus, the second. And thanks for the game.